And developing right now in the Kelly file, a top Senate Republican says the Justice Department has just missed a deadline to explain President Obama's recent run of executive actions. This just weeks after Senator Mike Lee grilled the Attorney General over whether this behavior is even legal. Joining me now, Utah Republican Senator Mike Lee, who's a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Good to see you, sir. And so Eric Holder has received that request and said, mm, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> and so what's your next move? Well, our next move is to continue to question him. I, I questioned him in the Judiciary Committee a few weeks ago and still have yet to receive any satisfactory response to my question about what gives the president this authority. The Attorney General, to my great, dis great surprise and dismay, r really didn't have any anything. All, all he said was, I'm sure there's authority in there somewhere. I don't know where it came from. I'm not sure who reviewed it. I reminded him that he is the Attorney General of the United States, and all he could come up with was, I I I'm pretty sure we've got something that covers it. But this is a problem, Megan, because we do have a Constitution. The purpose of that Constitution is to prevent any one person from getting too much power, especially our chief executive. And that's not being followed. The Constitution's being openly flouted, and that's hurting the American people. But we've this talked is perpetuating about this. A program. We, we, we've been talking about this for weeks now, and we did, we did a whole special on this on Friday night about what the president has done. And we had law professors from both sides of the aisle who had questions about the president's behavior. The question is, what is going to be done? What's going to be done about it? Because, you know, you can write your letters to Eric Holder saying, tell us the justifications. And I know a lawsuit is, you know, pending. And, you know, what's actually going to be done? Okay, so let's take, for example, the president's executive order suspending the employer mandate, which, by the way, overlooks the individual mandate. It forces hardworking Americans, uh, the, you know, the poor and the middle class to comply with their mandate, but tells big businesses that they're off the hook. Uh, that decision is very difficult to challenge in court. It's very difficult to find someone with Article 3 standing to challenge that in federal court. Right. The best thing we can do in Congress is to withhold funds for Congress to exercise its power over the purse. James Madison talked about this in Federalist 57. And he said that, you know, when the president abuses his power, the best thing Congress can do is withhold funding for right. the president so that the president can't continue to hurt the American people. Going to happen? I would like to see it happen. I would very much like to see I that happen. Like and I know you'd like to, that's but what, one you know, of the reasons what are the odds? Why I, well, okay, so the, the odds for that happening, Megan, go up every single time the American people see that the poor and the middle class in this country are being hurt by this president irrigating power to himself that does not belong to him. It belongs to the people. And, and doing it in a way that hurts hardworking Americans, especially in the poor and the middle class. The more that that, that happens, the more the American people see this, right. the more pressure that people in the Senate and the House are going to feel to finally start changing the way we spend money in Washington, Got to it. finally start refusing to simply fund the, the president in this excessive, okay. excessive executive overreach. Senator, thank you.